as a researcher, you go and you try to ask, okay, how, how do I start with this? Well, which databases? Uh, is my PICO question clear uh, to, to design a, a search strategy and all that? And so I think a librarian can add uh, information or steer the conversation in this way by saying, okay, if you're doing a rapid review, which databases are you using now? Which are the other databases that are useful, but you're leaving out because of time, for example? And what are the implications of that? Because you know that some databases are very specific or, or regional specific. If you're using only PubMed, but then S Cielo is not there, you're probably missing a lot from Latin America. The impact of whatever intervention or exposure uh, you may be addressing in the review can be particularly different. Uh, similarly with the search strategy and, and any language restrictions or date restrictions. There are a lot of times when you do want to limit your date range in a particular educational context because some things didn't exist before or we didn't think about them in the same way. So for example, I mean, we didn't have computer adapted testing or we didn't have a computer adapted, you know, um, you know educational curriculum before a certain time. So there's no point in, in you know, searching before that given time. We might limit your searches because there was a critical shift in the paradigm of something. So we might have thought about you know, autism in one way prior to a, a given time, and we think about it in a different way after a given time. So I think that, you know, um, and then in, and in terms of geography, education is very, um, local. <laughs> so the way people, you know, the way we think about it in the U.S. is very different than how we might think about it in another country. Now, if we go to this issue of, you know, um, English language versus other language, that is that is a practical issue. Um, it may be getting easier in some, I don't know if it is getting easier to get translations, but um, for right now, I understand that some teams, research teams are going to be limited in, um, you know, the language that they can use. I think every, every decision that you make through the development of the systematic review from the keywords that you use, the databases, the restrictions that you use, all that has an impact on your end product. All the articles that you find or leave behind is going to shape your conclusions. And if you think about the whole policy making decision, then a recommendation or a policy is going to be formulated using that evidence that you show. So it, it has an impact if you're leaving things behind or, or if you're excluding things because they're in a different language or from a different country or, or if they were published 50 years earlier or something like that. And so I see the, the librarian sort of like informing the decision or helping to shape the decision in a lot of these steps. Like what, where are you getting your evidence from and how are you getting it? Um, which I think is key. Like that's, that's the whole, that's, that's the core of the, of the systematic review in a way.